Every country has more to learn from people with intellectual disabilities than they have currently learned. I say that we have more to learn as a community of nations. Special Olympics was founded in 1968. It was a time at which people in the United States saw people with intellectual disabilities as real liabilities. It's the year in which the institutionalized population of people with intellectual disabilities reached its peak. And in that environment, my mother, who'd grown up with a sister with an intellectual disability and knew that to be the wrong approach, was experimenting. Forty plus years later, the movement now has 50,000 little competitions every year. And in that small event, they strike out at injustice, which is still prevalent, and they challenge intolerance, which is still epidemic around the world. And they, the largest global movement dedicated to the idea that every person counts. When we think of great diplomats, how many people would think of a 15-year-old with Down syndrome as an agent of diplomatic healing, communication, understanding? But they are. Plan a team with a Special Olympics athlete, maybe for a week, maybe for a season. If every child had that experience, we'd have a different definition of what it means to create communities of acceptance and welcome for all. The average Special Olympics athlete comes to the races, comes to the venues, raises his or her arms in victory and says, I'm a champion. That's the best teacher we can get.